Senator Sherrod Brown gets it. Senator Sherrod Brown did not hold back as he let Norfolk Southern have it. He pointed out that instead of investing in the safety of their operations, they used their poor profits for stock buybacks and dividends. I want you guys to get what that means, folks. Under the Trump administration, they relaxed rules on trains to, to they remo remove regulations for better breaking, for breaking in the uh, 21st century breaking and all of that. Things that could likely, even if there is a derailment, that these containers and trucks would be protected, right? Yeah. All of those, poof, went away. We want to deregulate. We want to take away regulations. We don't need regulations. The government regulates too much. And you know why the government regulates? You know why we, the people, regulate? Because they, the corporations, will do as little as possible to increase the profits of their shareholders and the dividends of their shareholders. And, of course, with that comes maximal bonuses for the executives. It's all there. And that's what it's for. And that's why we need regulations. We must have regulations to protect whom? You. But because you are listening to news on ABC, CBS, NBC, MSN, all these other stations where the plutocracy, the corporatocracy has a, can come on and give, their, give their, their line point of view with those reporters not given a good pushback, Many Americans now would sing the same song. Many, many rank and file Americans, regular common Americans will go out there and say, too much regulations. We have too much regulations. We can't have that. And they believe what the corporations are saying. Ah, oh, if you'll deregulate, it'll be fine. So we vote for people who would deregulate industry. We vote for people who would put our own lives at risk. And when you go to Ohio... Palestine, Ohio is a direct result of a corporation trying to get more profits for its shareholders, its bonuses for its executives, and more money in dividends for all those who own the stock. That's what you are seeing in Palestine. Palestine, Ohio, that is. But, but, it gets deeper because we... We, the American people, are all responsible for Palestine, Ohio. Egberto, what are you talking about? How can I be responsible for Palestine, Ohio? Let me first read from Sherrod Brown. So, Sherrod Brown, uh, th this is what the reporter said. The EPA administrator and the governor says that the municipal water and the air uh, are both safe, said Pamela Brown. But residents, they are worried about contamination, and some say they have gotten rashes, sore throats, nausea, and headaches. As I just pointed out, Senator Brown, you were just there this week on Thursday. Should the residents of East Palestine accept the assurances from the government, or are they right to be skeptical? That is all the senator needed to unleash himself against corporate malfeasance. After a few words, he appropriately launched into corporations. So, this is, Pamela, this is really the same old story, Brown said with passion. Corporations do stock buybacks. They do big dividend checks. They lay off workers. Thousands of workers have been laid off from Norfolk Southern. Then they don't invest in safety rules and safety regulations. And this kind of thing happens. Yeah, this kind of things happen. The senator got to the core then. He said, that is why people in East Palestine are upset, Brown continued. They know they have. They know that corporate lobbyists have had far too much influence in our government. And they see this as the result. And this kind of thing shouldn't happen. There was also a Norfolk Southern derailment in Sandusky on Lake Erie. 
in Ohio. There was one just a few days ago in Detroit. And of course, Rourke made us aware there was one right here last week in the Houston metropolitan area, Montgomery County. These things are happening because the three, because these, the railroads, are simply not investing the way they showed in car safety and in the rail lines themselves. Again, maximum profit, maximum dividends, you name it. Sherrod Brown warned residents that Norfolk Southern will try to buy them off with those $1,000 checks. You know, anybody in, 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 in uh, East Palestine right now, East Palestine, Ohio, you know, Norfolk has given out $2.5 million in $1,000 checks, man. They're, they're, it's raining money in, in East Palestine. But Sherrod Brown has a warning. He says, do not, do not take that check if you have. Take the check. But do not sign your rights to sue Northern or Norfolk Southern because you know what? Many times that's what they do. You want a thousand dollars and these people are strapped for cash now. You want a thousand dollars? Here's a thousand dollars. Okay, sign this waiver. You promise not to sue. I don't know if they're doing that, but one, you should not do it. The senator did not leave Congress blameless. He is well aware that many of them are on the corporate take. That's the end of the Ohio story, but there's more to talk about the Ohio story. Remember earlier I said we are, all of us must be blamed for Ohio or wherever all these derailments are going to occur. Because too many of us have bought into that deregulation thing. Let me give you a little Texas story. You know, uh, 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 the, the, our, our leadership in Texas and Austin, Republican leadership, likes to talk about local, local control, local control. They love to talk about local control because they don't want control from Washington. So they like to talk about local control. But anytime local control, you had a, you had a town, I can't remember, somewhere in the Dallas area. I don't remember the name of the town. There were gas wells all over the land in that area, and these gas wells were leaking. So this town passed an ordinance that prohibited drilling in certain places to protect humans, to protect the people from having to aspirate these hydrocarbons that could be cancerous. You know what? You're, yours truly, you know what your government who loves local control did? You know what they did? They passed a law that prevented local control. They passed a law that prevented local control. So it's all a joke. They don't care about you. They don't, I repeat, the people that you have elected, the people at Texas have elected into the, con into the legislature, they don't care about you. Now they're talking about vouchers, right? To rural America, to my brothers and sisters in Yoakum, Texas, Brenham, Texas, Smithville, Texas, and all these very small towns who don't have the superpower in there to have any, any kind of private schools or whatever, if you, if your state representative signs off to have vouchers that will extract money out of the public school system, your kid, your kid that you would love to go to AM or Texas Tech or the University of Texas, they will suffer. Because as one of the leadership said to a parent when he didn't know he was being taped, yes, this is going to take money out of the public the funding out of the public educational system. They don't care about you. All of you that are voting for these people, singing freedom, freedom, glory, glory, hallelujah. They unwrap, they wrap, they wrap themselves in the flag and they do all these great things to let you believe they're so Americana, right? They don't care about you. They, don't, they come to you to get some money. 
They come to you to tell you, this is what we're going to do. And what do you get? Do you get health care? Hell no. Do you get a hospital? Hell no. Do you get good roads? Hell no. Go to small town Timbuktu, Texas. You know what they tell you though? They tell you, you know, it's those damn brown people in Houston, San Antonio, Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin. They're taking everything. So hate them, hate them and vote for us. It's a lie. You know why? You know why those other places get things? Because that's where your peeps live. My brothers and sisters who are listening to me in rural America. Uh, share this program. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.